this time, please stand for the presentation of the colors by the New Hanover High School R, uh, JROTC Color Guard and the singing of the, um, of the Star Spangled Banner by Emmy Lane. Good evening. My name is George Turner, and it is an honor to be able to personally welcome all of our friends, families, teachers, faculty, and administration to such an important day in our lives and educational journey. This is an exciting day, as today we celebrate the 100th graduating class of New Hanover High School. We would like to extend a special welcome to our superintendent, Dr. Charles House, and New Hanover County School Board of Education members, Stephanie Crable, Stephanie Walker, Stephanie Adams, Judy Justice, and Hugh McManus. We would also like to welcome New Hanover County Schools senior staff members, Patrice Faison and Don Brinson. This day not only marks an end, but also an exciting new beginning. None of this would have been able been possible without the support from each of you sitting here today. Each of us about to walk across the stage can attest to the fact that this was certainly not a one-person job. Thank you to everyone that has helped us along the way, and we look forward to a great ceremony. So it is my pleasure to officially welcome all of you to the commencement for the New Hanover High School Class of 2022.
Uh, we'd like to thank Emily Lane, Whitney Lennon, Riley Moore, Lucas Mead. Uh, they were graduates uh, that assisted in singing the alma mater. Uh, Alicia Kruger, Trayvon Bloodworth, Cameron Russ, and Brody Costin uh, were alumni that also assisted with that. Thank you very much for your uh, rendition of the alma mater. This time we'd like to welcome uh, Sarah Francis Butler, the Salatorian. Good evening, fellow classmates, parents, faculty, friends, and most importantly, the graduating class of 2022. First, I'd like to express how honored I am to be standing here tonight before you all. From the very first day of our freshman year, nervously pacing the halls, trying to find our first period class, to tonight, adorned in cap and gown as leaders of New Hanover High School, we have all conquered so much. Even here, under the lights at Legion Stadium, some of us fought for conference titles on the field, while others fought for a spot on the front row of the bleachers. And together, we remember the trials we have faced as a school and as individuals. And against all odds, we stand here today victorious. As I reflect on our class's unique journey throughout New Hanover High School, I am reminded of a story about a young boy who grew up in a valley. For as long as the boy could remember, he had stared up at the mountain that loomed over his village and longed to climb to the top. Before he knew it, he had grown strong enough to begin his journey. His parents packed his bag with sandwiches and water, furnished him a pair of hiking shoes with tough soles, taught him all they knew about the mountain, and sent him away with a hug and a kiss. When he reached the foot of the mountain, he was greeted by other children some eager to embark on the adventure and others more timid. Nevertheless, they all departed together. Little by little, the terrain grew tougher and steeper, and after a while, the group had to stop and rest. The boy sat down and pulled out the sandwich his mother has made him. Looking around, he noticed a few of the other children sat empty-handed with no snack, so he offered them a bite of his sandwich. After sharing the meal and a few laughs together, they returned to the path, refueled for the afternoon. A little later, the boy noticed the soles of his shoes had worn through, and he began to grimace as the bare rock beneath him scraped his toes. Yet he trudged on. Fortunately, his long legs were able to guide his feet quickly up the mountain, but others, however, were slower on their feet and found the terrain to be much less forgiving. But as the boy found himself ahead of some of the group, He'd turn around and reach out his hand to those who'd take it and guide them along the path. As the trek became too treacherous for some, the group thinned. But the remaining children found themselves and their friendships growing closer and closer as they began to learn the ins and outs of the mountain. Finally, after one of the longest afternoons yet, the weary group reached the peak. Looking around, not only did they finally see the beauty of the world that they had learned to see from so long from the top of the mountain, and oh, was it beautiful, but they saw the beauty in each other, torn and frayed, yet smiling. As they take in the view around them, they realize that another beautiful mountain towers over them in the distance, one much taller than the mountain they are on, which had at first seemed so enormous from the valley below. And behind that one, another. Now, where do they go? Some descend back down the mountain and use the knowledge and strength from their journey to lend a hand to younger children, for they see the beauty in helping others. Some long to reach the top of the next mountain ahead of them, seeing beauty in the forging of a new path, knowing the trip will be tough, yet still daring to make it. They'd already climbed one mountain, why not climb the next, and the next? Eleanor Roosevelt once said, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. No matter where your mountain is, or how high or low it appears, that mountain is yours to climb. Whether you dream, wherever you dream beauty in your future, make the trek to find it. Although our journey through New Hanover was difficult at times, 
We all made it to this day, to the peak of the mountain. And this moment, as we all gather here together, is truly beautiful. As you search for the next mountain to climb, remember the timid child staring from the foot of the mountain he had always dreamt to climb, that shaky freshman pacing the halls. Remember the last hug your mother gave you before you left, the support from our families, friends, coaches, and mentors that guide us throughout high school. Remember the memories we've made along the way. Remember our worn shoes and aching feet that each and every one of us has fought battles in these four years, yet here we are together, victorious. We have gained so much strength and power from these four years at New Hanover. And now, let's remember this feeling as we stand on the peak, the lights of Legion Stadium illuminating the realization of our most beautiful dream yet. My fellow classmates of 2020-22, we stand here at the top of the mountain. And now, let's look ahead together as friends and support each other as we all face the next mountains together. Let's grab arms, take a bow, and take off into the beauty of our next dream. This time, we would like to Welcome Sherman Lewis Kreiner, uh, the valedictorian. Good evening, staff, graduates, special guests, and the quietest people in the audience tonight, parents. And welcome to the 100th graduation ceremony of New Hanover High School. For the sake of expediency, I would like to make this speech as short as possible. When I was tasked with encapsulating our roller coaster ride of four years into a few remarks, three words stood out that define our collective journey as the class of 2022. The first, resilience, describes the fortitude that is personified by every wildcat sitting in those bleachers. Throughout the two-year pandemic, every one of us not only experienced new challenges, but discovered our own ways to live with them. Some of us may have lost loved ones or witnessed our parents struggling to keep their jobs but the mere fact that we are here today proves that we have overcome such adversity. I believe that often when we as a society speak about resilience, so much emphasis is placed on the problem that the individual themselves can be defined by it. Obviously, there's no way to understand what terrible moments everyone has been through, but this class of 2022 has persevered. We persevered through the groggy mornings where we rolled out of bed and were greeted by the equally exhausted faces of our teachers. We persevered through the weeks of struggling to balance work with a fluctuating school schedule. And we persevered through the incessant thoughts, questioning whether virtual school fulfilled any purpose other than masquerading as an authentic high school experience. With that said, I think that my fellow classmates and I can say that we are very grateful to essentially have been without school for an entire year. I cannot stress how incredible that was. However, as the days turned into weeks and weeks turned into months, a looming figure of complacency persisted in the shadows of our minds. It spoke down to us, beckoning us to throw all of our many accomplishments away in the pursuit of hollow goals. Despite this, we pushed onward toward the fulfillment of this very day, cementing our status as resilient young adults. The second word that characterizes our class is excellence. We have continuously displayed that New Hanover High School not only fosters a community, but breeds the innovation that will later improve those around us. Whether it be on the field, track, court or in the classroom, we've repeatedly displayed that the bar can always be raised. Thus, it is no surprise that our class has risen to the heights of state champions, scholarship recipients, and most importantly, young leaders within Wilmington itself. Now, this excellence, as any member of our class can attest to, was not easy to come by. I spoke earlier about the difficulties of the pandemic, but we also experienced hurricanes, a shooting, and various other problems that attempted to impede this path to greatness. Despite this, we achieve more than anyone could ever have imagined, especially those on shipyard. This tradition of excellence will follow the class of 2022 wherever life takes us, motivating us to push the boundaries of possibilities. Throughout all our accomplishments, we have managed to remain a cohesive student body that inspires one another to pursue whatever they are passionate about. We embody our school motto, strength through unity, in every aspect of our lives. It is this togetherness that allows us to fight for what we believe is right because our fellow Wildcats are with us every step of the way. Thus, the final word, passion, is emblematic of our class as a whole. No matter how hard life attempts to dampen our spirits, that fire will continue to burn within every one of us. That flame of passion not only spurs us onward, 
but has served us in the past as a guiding light during our fight against disparities in our local community. Therefore, as we embark on our individual journeys throughout life, continue to persevere, continue to excel, and continue to follow that light without ignoring your everyday successes. Instead, find a path that allows you to live the way Craig Sager did, full of love and full of fun. Thank you. Graduates, families, your hand of our staff, board members, senior staff, Dr. Faust, it's my honor to welcome you uh, to the New Hanover High School commitment, commencement ceremony for the class of 2022. Families, we are so thankful that you were here today. You have invested so much in your children over the past 12 years and their life, and this is a special day for you. Graduates, let's take a moment and give your families a hand. Faculty and staff, you have poured yourselves out to these students over the last four years. It's my honor to be able to work with you. Graduates, let's take a moment and give your teachers, your counselors, your coaches, and staff throughout your school career a big hand. Graduates, this is not just any day or any graduation. This is the centennial commencement ceremony of New Hanover High School. And we're proud of that significant event. There are 100 years of graduates that have walked across the stage just, just like this one and received a diploma that said graduate of New Hanover High School. Class of 2022, your theme for the Hanoverian yearbook this year was the story of the century. And it's so appropriate. There are so many stories that make up the 100 years of your school history. I'd like you to think for a moment about the story of New Hanover's beginning in comparison to your current story in 2022. In June of 1922, the first graduating class of New Hanover High School was approximately 170 graduates for the whole city of Wilmington. You are three, 342 strong for New Hanover High School alone. In 1922, New Hanover High School was built at the same time that the house that Ruth built, Yankee Stadium, was under construction. Gummy bears were a new candy. Gasoline was 25 cents a gallon. It's now $4.25 a gallon. And there are gummy bear wrappers in the stairwell at New Hanover High School. I picked them up this morning. In 1922, there was not a pandemic going on like you have experienced, but the Spanish flu, which started in 1918, killed almost 50 million people across the world. In, in 2022, COVID has claimed more than 6 million lives, and like the graduates of 1922, this pandemic has impacted us in so many ways. Many of you have lost loved ones to COVID, or lost multiple loved ones over the course of each year. One of our own graduates has been impacted by a loss connected to COVID and is wearing a piece of jewelry today with three of her family members pictured to honor them and their lives. Graduates, stories like this are what the story of the century is all about. From 1922 to 2022, the spirit of New Hanover High School has been strong. In 1971, student voices were heard from the steps of New Hanover High School after closing Williston High School, the desegregation of schools, and protests for civil rights. In 2020, many of you made your voices heard to bring together races and genders for social healing. There are stories just like this throughout the 100 years of New Hanover High School. Stories of sadness, grief, discrimination, Injustice, joy, resilience, and strength. 
Earlier this year, I received an email from a gentleman with a story from 1942. He was trying to locate the family of a New Hanover High School graduate from 1942 with the initials MGA. The man explained that his wife had the class ring of a graduate from 1942 and wanted to reunite this ring with members of the graduate's family. He said his wife's grandfather took this ring off of a Nazi soldier during World War II. We are still trying to track down that graduate, but what an incredible life of honor for a new, this New Hanover graduate and family. Students, several of you have made that decision to serve our country in the military after graduating from New Hanover High School just like this hero from 1942. If you have listed in a branch of the military, please stand. Thank you for your service and dedication to our protection. We will keep you in our thoughts and prayers. In 1920, as New Hanover High School was being built, New Hanover won its first state championship in basketball. 102 years later, your boys' soccer team won the first soccer state championship in New Hanover High School history. <laughs> soccer team, thank you for lifting us and allowing us to celebrate when we needed it the most. You helped us build back the spirit we needed from this pandemic and trauma at the beginning of the school year. Let's see those rings, guys. Hold them up. Thank you. The story of this senior class is one of honor, service, and leadership. Class of 2022, you have earned more than 933 college credit hours through Cape Fear Community College. You are offered more than $3.5 million in scholarships, which is almost 1.5 million more than previous classes. Among you are Merit, Academic, Arts, Humanities, Automotive, New Hanover, and Access Scholars. You have served our community with more than 7,000 hours of service through the National Honor Society, Beta Club, STAY, and the New Hanover High School Service Learning Class. You have been the leaders of change in our community through the Student Voice Project, our student equity team, and discussions with city planners to develop Port City United against community violence. Class of 2022, you have lived out each word of our school motto. These three little words, individually and collectively, are very powerful. Strength through unity. Three words that can help you develop your story for the future. Number one, let's break down this motto, strength. You have found your physical and internal strength to overcome so many obstacles. Use this strength moving forward to reach your goals. Be strong and courageous for your future. We need your strength to change the world. The second word of that motto, strength through. Through, this word is more than a preposition. It is your path. An unnamed philosopher once said, the road emerged only as I walked on it. That is your through. Don't be afraid to take risks and to walk your path. It is okay to fail and to learn from it. Make your path and learn as you walk through. And the third word of that motto is unity. Strength through unity. Graduates, I want you to look at the person on your left. Now look at the person on your right. You may never see that person again after today.
you have different paths. You have different backgrounds, different cultures, different families, different stories. But you are, not, you are united in this place. New Hanover High School, that will never go away. Use what you have learned in this place about your different stories to change the world. You are the stories of the next 100 years of New Hanover High School, and we are so proud of you. Congratulations, class of 2022. <laughs> New Hanover High School graduates of 2022, parents and guests, it's an honor as principal of New Hanover High School to attest to the fact that the New Hanover High School class of 2022 has met all the requirements set forth by the state of North Carolina and the New Hanover County Board of Education. And therefore, they are eligible to receive their diplomas. Board of Education member, Ms. Adams, we await your instructions. Thank you, Principal Sutton. All right, I'm the last thing in line before the diploma, so I will be brief. To our family members, thank you for the support and guidance, not just over the past four years for these amazing students for their lifetime. To the staff of New Hanover High School, thank you for your perseverance and resilience during some of the most trying times. We appreciate you. Now, class of 22, you're gonna be remembered for a lot of reasons. Nobody else can say they graduated from New Hanover the year it turned 100, it's pretty cool. But some of the other experiences that you've been through haven't been so cool. And honestly, they've been completely out of your control. You're the class that weathered Hurricane Florence a couple weeks into your freshman year. You're the class whose sophomore, junior, and senior years were disrupted due to a once-in-a-century global pandemic that's still affecting us. You're also that is the class that experienced the trauma of a shooting on your campus. All of these events have been life-altering. Here's what I want you to consider when you walk out of this stadium this evening with that diploma in your hand. You are closing a chapter, but you're about to begin another. What you are remembered for beyond today is up to you. Step out of your comfort zone, try something new. And I'm not talking about learning about the new TikTok craze. I'm talking about challenging yourself to create, build, or generate something that excites you, makes you jump out of bed in the morning because you can't wait to get at it whatever it is. Along the way to finding it, don't be afraid to fail. Fear of failure prevents us from greatness. Take a chance, and if you fail, that's okay. At least you tried. Learn from it, rethink, and try again. Class of 22, you control your story. Make it incredible. Ask yourself, what will I be remembered for after today? Cheers to you and cheers to finding your it. Now here's the important part. By the power and authority granted to me by New Hanover County and the state of North Carolina, I hereby and accept and certify the 2022 graduating class of New Hanover High School graduates. Principal Sutton, please prepare the class of 2022 to receive their diplomas.
George Turner. Sarah Francis Butler. Sherman Kreiner. Henry Boyd. Benjamin Collins. Ava Detna. Alan Demick. Kathleen Frelke. Janet Garcia Hernandez. Gianna Holden. Sydney Hunley, Helen Lewis, Andrew McKeg, Charles Mueller, Holland Putney. Mark Reddig, Holt Rogers, Emerson Soter, <laughs> Chloe Taylor, Kevin Lopez Gonzalez, Omar Gonzalez Lopez, Ricardo Abarca Pacheco. Kente Akins, Jeremy Aldrich, Ariana Allen, John Allen, Laney. Allen, Destiny Olsen, Messiah Anderson, Brianna Andrews, Christian Aragon Cortez, Cindy Aragon Lucero, Ahmad Ahmed Ali, excuse me. Yahir Arianes Zarate. Franklin Anderson. Keon Tyreek Armstrong. Dulce Avalos Robles. Tomas Ayala. Mylene Bailon. James Bain. Benjamin Balter. Tanaya Miracle Harris. Emmanuel Jamarion Bradley. <laughs> Destiny Beelan.
Enel Barrios. Jackson Beam. Nisan Bell. Zamir Bellamy. Elijah Blakey. Jamarion Blanks. Tylen Bordeaux. Jamie Bowers. Makai Branch. Denia Brewington. Elizabeth Brown. Orion Brown. Donovan Brotherton. Evan Broder. Alec Bronski. Kimberly Buchanan. Amani Bunting. Rebecca Burney. Brishan Bot Butler. Jakira Brown. Isel Cardenas. Kayla Carroll. Alma Carter. Kaya Carter. Gavin Casolt. Michael Chadwick. Jacob Clements. Raquan Clemens. Sarah Collins. Joshua Kolsch. Stephanie Cottle. Cole Covington. Derek Crabtree. Alec Creech. Logan Crelly. Anira Cromarty. Zakira Cromarty. Mackenzie Dameron. Kanye Daniels. Liam Davis. Christian Day. Chase Davis Santiago. Quinesia Diche Davis. Daniel Diaz Cuellar. Chase Doman. Samuel De Andrade. Kais Dutton. Elijah Isaiah Fennell. Madeline Ebelher. Madeline Elliott. Mark Emmett. Eris Denai Felder. Selah Fennell. James Flannery. Charles Flint. Javion Franklin. Brody Frank. Gabriela Frias Parada. Carmen Fredlaw. Brandon Fudge the second. Emily Gariardo. Jonathan Garcia. Kelly Goldenberg. Diana Laura Gomez. Jesus Gonzalez. Regino. 
Zakira Grady. Jemiah Grady. Dashell Green. Armaje Green. Elena Grumman. Arturo Gonzalez Pineda. Tanya Gutierrez Martinez. Angel Barrero. Devin Graham. Isaiah Gillespie. Micah Hall. Lillian Hargrove. Sophia Harper. Amiri Harry. Martha Hayworth. Owen Hayworth. Robert Hurd. Marco Hernandez. Mariah Henderson. Callie Hendricks. Kaylee Hessenflo. Garrett Hicks. Nigel Hill. Chanel Hodge. Lillian Hooker. Trevor Howard. Demir Howell. Michael Jacobs. Isabella James. Jewel Jarrett. Janiah Johnson. James Jumbercaya. Andrew Jones. Bennett Jones. Demeek Jones. Deshana Jones. James Jones. Amari James. Sarek Jones. Bianca Juarez Gonzalez. Sakar Kasim. Zariah Keaton. Jacob King. Nicole Kenlaw. Elizabeth Koenig. Emily Lane. Robert Lamar. Maya Lejean. Whitley Lennon. Silas Leonard. Charles Letson. Preston Leon. Jasmine Little. Sophia Litzinger. Elijah Long. Elijah Lopez De Silva. Sophie Landine. Luis Lopez Cifuentes. Trajan Mackins. Walker Mathis. Max Magana Pabon. Hazel Matthews. John MacArthur. Armand McDuffie. Janasia McGee. Logan McLinden. Marguerite McNally. Rebecca McNally. Amy Mendoza. Alan Marino Gonzalez. 
Lucas Mead. Emily Grace Monte. Fulton Millis. Luis Miranda. Lee McGee. Emma Melvin. Ahija Merrick. Raymond Monahan. Estelle Monte. William Monte. Trajan Monroe. Wilson Montiel Bello. Dinesia Moore. Mary Moore. Riley Moore. Samaj Moore. Samaya Moore. Alexis Morales. Darwin Morales Reyes. Bashiro Morpho. Shania Morris. Aiden Mosley. David Mullaney. Tiana Mullins. Liliana Myers. Ryan Norris. Yesenia Navarrete Maceda. David Neal. Devin Neal. Nathan Nichol. Kanye Nixon Falk. Trung Nguyen. William Nowicki. Vestine Nyarun Kundo. Catherine Olivares. Connor Podula. Julia Payson. Aiden Payne. Amia Oliver. Devin Pelham. James Pitt, Benjamin Pleasant, Lanier Pocknett, Mikhail Justice Pocknett, Shakira Poland, Shakira Poland, Aubrey Poehler, Marissa Porter, Sadie Potter, Nicholas Pullman, Sumter Powell, Kylie Prieto, Taylor Punzelin, Joshua Cattell. Zonia Cabello. Jennifer Reyes Marin. Kelly Paget. Zacobi Rhodes. Lillian Rupra. Taquan Rich. Alexander Rinaldi, Dylan Rivera, James Robertson, Leroy Robinson III, 
Angie Rodriguez. Dallas Romanowski. Alex Rodriguez Ramon. Omen Rivera Zuniga. Genesis Rodriguez. Kevon Salam. Alberto Sanchez, Alexander Schultz, Grayson Sepich, Cole Cerns, Angelica Sevier Lopez, Angelica Sevier Lopez. Demetrius Shaw, Andrea Shuford, Caden Siegel, Luis Silva, Joshua Simon, Mark Smith, William Slater Larkins. Mitchell Spivey, Joseph Spencer, Lily Spencer, Sarah Stevens, Kalia Siu, Cassidy Stewart, Angela Strawn. Gavin Spaziano, Joseph Stott, Jasmine Springer, Angel Sanchez Ramirez, Dante Swenson, Kadeja Taylor, Mokaila Taylor. Angel Tate, Nevea Thames, Layton Thompson, Justin Tracy, John Edward Tunstall, Lizette Favede Lopez, Kyle Vasquez. George Velasquez, Jaquarion Waddell, John Watson, Tamaya Way, Aiden Wilshire, Brandon Worthy. Kirsten Waugh, Trayvon Willis, Jabari Webb, Hassan Williams, Denaya Williams, Horizon Williams, Lillian Williams, Robert Williams, Victoria Williams, Presley, Presley Wisner, Monroe Wild Weigel, Karime Yanez Zambrano, Lucy Yates, Lydia Yermo, Molly Weinberg. Maisie Yap. Jody Encarnacion. 
Moses Yates. Melanie Zagal. Good evening Wildcats and congratulations again. Good evening Wildcats family, friends, administrators, and community leaders. This year I've had the great pleasure and honor of being the student body president here at New Hanover High School. I hope this day is bringing you as much joy and great reflection as it is to me. I feel like it was just yesterday when my older sister, who was a senior at the time, dropped me off at the front of the school 30 minutes early and said, get out and good luck. I guess she didn't want to walk in from the senior lot with the freshman. Here we are four years later, sitting on our home field, having achieved a monumental educational milestone. We are the class of 2022 and represent 100 years of success and perseverance at New Hanover High School, which is a lot to be proud of. It took me some time to come up with the direction I wanted to take this charge, but on my last day of school, last Monday, I saw something. After hearing the bell ring for the last time ever, I proceeded down the second floor hallway, made my daily stop by the front office to greet my great friend, Miss James, and headed out the front doors to the courtyard to take in my amazing school one last time. While in complete admiration of our school's long-lasting physical character, I looked up to the catwalk to see an abundance of students commuting to their next class. Not knowing their life story, what grade they were in, what test they just took, or who they wanted to become, I saw they were all crossing the same bridge. The bridge that every student has to take each morning for four years to achieve success. This sturdy structure is founded on pride, wisdom, and strength so that you may be guided in the right direction. It brings us together as one and represents our motto, strength through unity. While we are all unique, we are all wildcats. Even though conflicts arise and many times cause our bridge to become unsteady, like we experienced in August, our destination never changes. The only thing that adjusts is our resilience and ability to remain steadfast in the presence of trial. You all have worked so hard and have left a legacy at New Hanover High School for many years to come, as you represent the light at the end of the tunnel. From attending a higher education institution to going straight into the military or workforce, you make the Wildcat Nation very proud. As we reach the end of the bridge here at New Hanover High School and choose to take our individual path, never forget the structure that got you there. I'd like to finish on a quote from Fanny Lou Hammer, an American activist and leader in the civil rights movement. Never to give it, never to forget where we came from and always praise the bridges that carried us over. Thank you 1307 Market Street and always remember, diamonds are forever.
Graduates, please join me in turning your tassels from the right to the left. Congratulations, class of 2023. Congratulations, class of 2022. Please slowly file out of the bleachers to the right and receive your diploma from your guidance counselor under the tent. One last round of applause for the class of 2022.